Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're just going to be quickly covering uh, oil analysis uh, along with our AMS oil uh, diesel change. We're not going to diesel oil change. We're not going to do the full oil change. Uh, we're just going to cover the oil analysis since I ended up finding another one that you can use um, and it gets sent out to a couple places here in the United States. Uh, it's just another different laboratory uh, that you can use and uh, you can pick this stuff up at your local Napa or O'Reilly Auto Parts. So part number for this, if you're going to Napa for it, is 4077. If you order that, uh, they can have it in like overnight is what they did with this one. Um, but it goes to a laboratory called ALS and they're in Norcross, Georgia. Uh, they do the same thing. This one has USPS Postal um, First Class. All right, so with this um, Napa O'Reilly Auto Parts, you can get it there. Um, you can also find it on Amazon. Uh, I think it comes as like a, I think it's sold by like Wix or something is what the label says on the uh, on the bottle. But uh, I think the part number is 24077. But ultimately the same thing, it all goes to ALS uh, Laboratories in Norcross, Georgia. And uh, I think they have one another one in like Oklahoma or Kansas or something. There's a couple different ones around the United States, but um they'll you fill out the paperwork that's inside anyway so you fill out the paperwork that's inside it comes with here's all your different destinations um, they've got some for canadian customers as well um, and then just says affix one of the labels below over the atlanta address if you're not sending it to this location and then you'll fill out the paperwork um, give them exactly what you used, what kind of oil and every, all that stuff, just like you would on anything else um, that comes to you. And then this will get put into this package here and you, and you can um, basically send it in like an envelope, a box, whatever, if you don't feel comfortable doing this or if you have issues with um, like the post office actually sending it. This kit from Napa was like $16 plus your shipping that you're going to pay so i don't know what that's going to be but hopefully not that much um but it beats having to pay 30 40 dollars for one if this is the only thing that you're ordering from like any of the other companies um i know there's blackstone laboratories i think theirs are about 30 dollars uh you can use the amsoil ones that go to a different lab and they're about 28 30 28 to 30 dollars depending um if you're ordering just that by itself it's a 28 dollars plus like a $12 shipping fee or something like that. Um, if you don't order it with something else like your diesel oil or your gas oil or whatever. So um, just, this is just another option that's locally available for you at O'Reilly Auto Parts, Napa, or Amazon um, under the Wix uh, label here. All right, so like I said, we're going to do the oil change on the truck. And we have been running this oil in here right now. It's the AMS oil, diesel oil, max duty protection or signature series. Um, it's been in here, f we changed it in, I think January, last this last January. It is now December and we've got about, I think we changed it 13,000 and we're about 24.5. So a um, little over 10,000 miles on it with some heavy towing, we're gonna send it off and um, like I said, I'm not gonna take you guys through the whole oil change process. We already got a video on that and there's tons of videos out there about it. So we're gonna let you guys know about this oil analysis kit that we picked up um, aside from the AMS oil, it just gives you another option. And we're gonna get this oil sample done so you guys can check out the results once we get them back, probably 48 to 72 hours once the lab receives the sample. The one thing I will say about this um, oil analysis when you take the sample do not take the first um, stuff that starts flowing out of the pan um, let it flow out a little bit and then take the sample also you want to let the vehicle run and warm up a little bit so we've been driving this pretty much all day at least let it get warmed up it gets rid of some of the condensation and then you'll get a good sample One thing I do want to note on these oil changes though, is this right here, this little um, plug that goes in the oil filter is awesome. If you can get the filter down, prop it up, 
screw that plug in, it'll keep you from spilling all your oil. I don't have a drop of oil right now off of this. So I drained the pan first, put the plug in there. Once I get the filter down, there wasn't any overspill um, off the filter once I loosened it. So everything got drained and now we're gonna pull this out with no mess. All right, so we're just filling our oil filter here. Um, it's labeled 25,000 mile oil change interval, but I would say um, even though AMS oil is some good stuff, I would still do an oil analysis um, just to make sure your stuff is good. But we've got about a quart in this filter now. So we'll just fill it up, put our plug on it, and stick it back up on the motor. So I double checked the address that ALS Labs gave me. It matches this one uh, here. They, I guess they just recently moved to Norcross, uh, Georgia. Um, but I, we've got all of, our, all of our paperwork filled out uh, properly. So we're just gonna slip it into this container, I guess. Um, and they do recommend, uh, so you don't have a two week um, shipping time that you, even though it's in this plastic black container that you stick it into like a mailer, uh, an envelope, a plastic envelope, or even a box. Also make sure that the, um, the little tab at the bottom of the form that you're gonna fill out and send off with the oil sample, that you maintain the stub that's on the bottom because it does have your uh, tracking number and all that stuff, or your, yeah, your tracking number for them. So you can actually track the whereabouts. We also like to mark our filters as well uh, with the mileage and the dates, just so that we can uh, we can track them a little bit easier. That way, uh, if we forget or whatever, I normally use an Excel spreadsheet, but um, some guys may not. Uh, another thing to check out is on the Amsoil Garage. Check that out. You can actually put your vehicle in there, um, put the mileage in, track all your services and whatnot. So. Uh, I'll put a link to that up in this video or, or down in the description. But uh, either way, this is going to conclude the video. Until next time, thanks for watching.